Number 73, Integrated Concepts. Letter A. A pendulum is set up so that its bob, a thin copper disc, swings between the poles of a permanent magnet as shown in figure 22.63. What is the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force on the bob at the lowest point in its path if it has a positive 0.25 microcoulomb charge and is released from a height of 30 centimeters above its lowest point? The magnetic field strength here is 1.5 Tesla. So here's the picture. Uh, they're talking, here's the little bob. Right, and it's going to swing in its motion here as it goes back and forth right through this constant magnetic field. So first let's figure out the directions because that's the easiest thing. They also tell us that the bob here is positively charged, so keep that in mind. So once that bob enters this magnetic field, the magnetic field is pointing in this direction, so place your four fingers pointing in that direction. The velocity then of the positive charge is coming then pointing to the right, right? It's coming towards the right. So therefore, with your fingers pointing uh, in this direction here, and then your fingers pointing to the right, your palm should be pointing then upwards, okay? So the force here is going to be pointing up, since it's a positive charge, right? If it were negative, it'd be the exact opposite, pointing down. So that's easy. Uh, now it's asking us to find uh, that, that actual amount of force. So we know we have a moving charge through a magnetic field, and therefore we're going to be using the formula over here on the right-hand side that says that the force acting on a moving charge through a magnetic field will be equal to the magnitude of the charge multiplied by its velocity, multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field, multiplied by the, uh, the sign of the angle between the magnetic field and the velocity. So we already noted that it is 90 degrees, and therefore the sign is just, of 90 is just 1, so this works, this works out to now be... F equals QVB. Now the only thing we don't know is the velocity, right? We know the charge, they told us great, we can convert it, they told us the magnetic field's great, okay, but the velocity. The only thing they told us in terms of the velocity, how to figure it out, is the height in which it was dropped, right? It, it, this thing was dropped from a height of 30 centimeters. Now first of all, you, knew, you know we need that in meters, so this is just 0.3 meters, right? Now the idea is that whatever potential energy this thing started with, will then be equal to its kinetic energy all the way at the bottom, right? The kinetic energy all the way down here at the bottom, all right? And we'll assume then all that potential energy at the top was converted to kinetic energy at the bottom. So in other words, we can say that the initial potential energy should equal then the final kinetic energy. Potential energy is mgh. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Notice what's happening to the mass. We'll see you later. Solve this thing for V now, and that's how I realize how I can find a term for the velocity at the bottom, right? So when you solve this thing for V now, it should look like this. V is equal to 2GH square root. So now we know the height it was released at. We know the, obviously, gravity, right? So we just plug it in now, right? So it's going to be F is equal to Q times now the square root of 2GH. Uh, what happened? 2GH times magnetic field, plug it all in. 0.25 microcoulombs, you know we need that in coulombs, so that works out to be 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus 6th coulombs, square root of 2 times 9.8, 9.81, whatever value you want to use in there, times in the height of 0.3 meters, and then multiplied by the magnetic field strength of 1.5. So let's see what we get. So 0.25 times 10 to the minus 6th, times then square root 2 times 9.8 times 0.3 and then multiply by 1.5. So about 9.09 .09 times 10 to the minus 7th uh, newtons. All right, so that we talked about the direction and now the magnitude. That takes care of letter A. Letter B, now it's saying, uh, what is the acceleration of the bob at the bottom of the swing uh, if its mass is 30 grams? All right, it's hung from, okay. So basically, uh, this one's fairly straightforward. I'm going to erase the work. And, okay. So uh, now what they want us to do is find that acceleration. So if we know force and we know mass, right? What's gonna be the formula here? Well, we have this, right? Mr. Newton, all right? Solve this for acceleration. So this is simply the be the force over the mass and plug it on in, 9.09 .09 times 10 to the minus 7th, all divided by then the mass, 
Careful, you need that in kilograms, so 0 0.03. All right, and let's see what we get. So divide that by 0 0.03, and voila, 3.03. 3.03 times 10 to the minus fifth now, and that's meters per second squared. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. And if it did, help us out. Hit the like button, subscribe, and tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Bye.